Hi guys, welcome back to Techno Hack. This is Parikshit here, back again with the new video. And in this video, I will show you the problem that you get while exploiting the Windows machine or any or Windows operating system while exploiting. You might get the error that says like exploit completed but no session is created. So this video is particularly to resolve this issue. I will show you how you can solve that issue and what is the reason behind that issue. Or that error okay so to do this I have a Windows XP machine here and the Kali Linux open here and we have a Metasploit open here now so so I will simply show you how the exploit work on X XP machine and when you get the error all right so let me try this now I will just hack into this machine first of all so let me check the vulnerabilities I will take any of this okay so this one I will take just copy it search for that and paste it and here we got the exploit so copy that and use this exploit i will check what i need to set here i need to set the r host which will be our target machine ip address 192.168.43.250 and i will just put it over there r host 192.168.43.250 and I will exploit this now all right we got the meter meter session but in your case it might happen that you are trying to exploit the XP machine and you are getting the error that says exploit completed but no session is created so instead of getting this message like sending stage you will get the exploit completed but no session is created just after that attempting to trigger the vulnerability so why it happens so if you look at the stage first it will attempt to trigger the vulnerability and then it says the exploit is completed but no session is created so there are foremost two reasons are there to get this error message either you are not choosing the correct exploit for your target machine or the target machine is not vulnerable for your exploit or the target machine is patched against your vulnerability a lot of people end up searching for this error and uh, they download the windows xp version from the internet and when they try to exploit that particular version of windows xp and uh, still there are a lot of versions that uh, that are patched against this vulnerability for smb and uh, that will not get hacked all right so i will show you in this video how you can download the exact service pack from the internet so exact windows xp machine to perform your penetration test against the windows xp machine so you will not end up searching for this particular solution over the web so here we have the windows xp performance edition which is just for 179 mb you can simply download it from the web and it is completely unpatched and you can simply use this operating system for the penetration testing and to perform your penetration test against your windows xp so this is the service pack 3 performance edition and you can get it within just 179 mb okay you can scroll down here you can download it from here by just clicking on the normal download or whatever you want you can choose that okay so i will provide you this link in the description and uh, you can download it from there and then you can perform your penetration test against this and you are not going to end up with that error which says the exploit is completed and no session is created so the same way make sure that you are using the correct version of windows 7 while doing a penetration test again windows 7 all right guys so this is all for it i hope this will help you thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video and have a great day bye bye